Have you been diagnosed with a bulging or herniated disc? Let's take a look at the anatomy of the spine, what happens when an intervertebral disc is injured, and the ways these types of injuries are usually treated. Notice here that intervertebral discs sit between the vertebrae. They serve as important shock absorbers within the spine. Look closely at each disc, and you'll notice that the outside has a layer of connective tissue, and the inside has a soft, pulpy inner layer. So what can go wrong? These discs can degrade and become compressed over time, or be injured by a sudden accident. If the center of the disc pushes the lining of the disc outwards but doesn't break it, this is called a bulging disc. If the lining of the disc does break, this is called a herniated disc. You might also hear a herniated disc referred to as a slip disc or prolapse disc. A bulging or herniated disc can cause pain, tingling, or numbness by pressing on a nerve root. That pressing is called a pinched nerve. If the pinched nerve is in the lumbar spine, you might feel pain in the buttocks and lower limbs. If this pinching is at the roots in the cervical spine, it results in pain in the arm or shoulder.